Hello my loves, I'm Ellie Frost. Thank you so much for being on my channel where we are talking about the multi-dimensional approach to rapidly and radically healing and transforming during and after narcissistic abuse. Multi-dimensional means spiritually, energetically, uh, mentally, emotionally and physically and I talk about healing and transforming which means we don't just heal although healing is a wonderful thing we understand ourselves spiritually and the spiritual context of what we've been through and I'm interested in personal development so I integrate a lot of modalities because healing on its own can help you overcome something but personal development and transformation is about your potential and growth right so all these things together makes my approach unique but also extraordinarily transformative because you don't if you just focus on one of them without the other you won't understand why you're not moving forwards like i couldn't understand how trauma was the trauma is the biggest block that i've ever come across now in my understandings to manifestation to achieving your potential to um being set free trauma understanding what trauma really is energetically as an energetic body narcissism is an epidemic on the planet that is being hidden in plain sight it is not that i shared a statistic the other day in here which blew my mind because they're not even diagnosing it correctly um, because most uh, therapists are fooled by narcissists. I've said openly that it's not impossible that a narcissist could still fool me. You know, they're, they're the most manipulative predators on the planet. Um, but I did look, I did, something came to my attention. It was like narcissism is becoming a very highly searched term, which means there's no way this is 1% of the population. What's going on collectively is we're being called into a collective awakening spiritually, right? Whatever you believe in spiritually, I'm sure you'll understand that like you, the human race needs to evolve and that means that we evolve our consciousness. So the whole thing works, right, on evolution. Our whole planet um, is about evolution. The human race is about evolution. So narcissism is literally is something that stops our growth. Although some spiritual teachers are conning people, honestly, not because of intention, but like this is a complete lie, that somehow being um, connected to a narcissist will help your awakening. It won't. In fact, many people's potential on the planet, because they'll be so traumatised, trauma does what it does. Have you ever seen Harry Potter where they get petrified and they just freeze? That's what it does. It also, um, when you've been narcissistic abused, it will degenerate your physical body body your emotional body if your emotional health is severely targeted and hit no doubt you'll develop physical symptoms right so it's not it is not um conducive to a spiritual awakening for a lot of people i don't know statistically but i would estimate it could even be the majority it will prohibit every piece of growth they could have had it's a theft of your potential, a theft of your dreams, a theft of your health, and mostly, often, a theft of your finances. Even if you didn't think you had finances, they impact your ability to earn. Uh, many people have worked with me, and I've talked about my financial um, situations. And, I, I mean, after narcissistic abuse, I, I, it's the only time I couldn't earn money in the same way, right? Not because I was less talented, because I was under a high level of spiritual attack and had been heavily traumatised. And we live in an energetic universe. Money responds to energy and personal power. It's an energy exchange before it's a money one. I can talk about that more, but... What do I want to say today? Breaking this spell. So on this channel that, you know, it's understanding that this is a psychic attack. I've got tools on the channel to help you break it. I've got my program seven. I think I'm going to close the doors for this round on Sunday. So please get in that if you can. It's extremely affordable. Compared to therapy, it's a revolution. Like it will change your life in six modules. I mean, come on. But um, the... The spell is something you've really got to take responsibility for at this point because you become so... So the, the narcissist is soul detached. You become soul disconnected, right? You become someone you're not because that's exactly where they need you to be. To a narcissist, you're like a power supply, like a battery source, right? So they don't want you having your own life and be connected to your own soul, your own potential, your own dreams, your own intuition. They can't do that because you're just something they extract energy from, right? So, and that energy fuels them. 
and obviously other resources. Some of you won't even understand, to be honest, right? And this has nothing to do with you. It's just this isn't understood on a spiritual level very widely. What they're actually extracting from you, because you won't even understand the potential of your spiritual gifts, right? So you might be an empath or a healer or someone who hasn't even used your gifts in this lifetime, not realizing that they're extracting that energy from you. Just because you haven't found your potential doesn't mean those things don't exist in you. And that energy is very juicy to them. And they do go for the light because it's a very strong um, energy source. So Anyway, breaking the spell. So use the psychic uh, things I do. Come into Sovereign if you can, because that is way beyond cutting cords. That is like airtight container in your energy field. You haven't got to do protection rituals every day. You are sealed, you know what I mean? Strong, energetically resilient in your own energy, going on to manifest your sovereign life. The other thing is really understand that you're under hypnosis. It is a spell. It is like a hypnosis. It is t- it's not just mind control. It's like heart control, energy control, the whole thing. But you're listening to this. So you have the ability to see it. When you see it, you know that when you're with the narcissist, you go into this hypnosis. So many people are asking the wrong questions over and over again and still not seeing that they're under the sixth spell of the narcissist. Because if you're on, on the internet researching narcissists, if you're sitting in the question of, is this a narcissist? Will this person change? These are the two lethal subconscious viruses they implant in you. You don't even need to know whether or not someone's a narcissist, to know if you feel bad around them, if you feel sad around them, if you feel anxious, if you don't feel yourself, if you feel like your life's deteriorating, this is way more than enough. Here's the problem. We've had some kind of narrative in therapy that hasn't been, I don't think, always in the individual's best interest because we have been taught to be so introspective of ourselves that we don't start with looking at the other person. We think it's our childhood wounds. That It's not, in fact. Narcissists will pick on whoever they want to extract from. Your childhood wounds are just one thing they can exploit, like your bank balance, like your sexuality, like anything, like your empathy, like anything you have that they want, they'll find the ways into it. Childhood wounds are just one of them. Empathy is just one of them. Things that would trigger you is just one of them. It's just, a, it's just an entry system. It's not the reason you're, you, you, they're attracted to you. So you've got to see, the one thing you're always going to know, and what I'm always teaching on this channel, is to come into your senses and your body before you get in your head and try and make sense of it. You know how you feel around certain people. You do not have to justify it. If we would learn this so much quicker, I don't have to know why I don't like my neighbour, for example. I know in my body that I might feel drained and not want to hang out with them. It's enough. If I stopped it there, I would never have to let that person into my life, betray me, exploit me, etc. Does this mean that you're going to be on your own? No. It means you're going to trust yourself to connect with amazing people. But as soon as you get these really toxic people in your life, the problem is they create so much chaos and so much drama. There's no room for anyone else. And the rest of the time you're recovering, right? So no, it's not because good people don't exist. And it's not because good people can't come into your life. It's because when you've got this problem going on, it takes up your whole energy field. And... Unfortunately, I have done some videos on this about how we adopt the toxic traits of the narcissist. If you can come into personal coaching, do if you've had a lifetime of this. Because, like, you do become toxic. You do spill your shit on people and dump on them. You do carry a lot of defence mechanisms a lot of the time. You don't come out of this a healthy little fruit. You don't. You, you're not damaged, you're bruised and you're tainted, right? So if you're finding it hard to uh, get into relationships, come into personal coaching with me because you really don't need to live another day like this. I really want you to know that. It doesn't matter how sick you are. It doesn't matter how long it's gone on for. It doesn't matter how old you are in terms of, it, it's not like I've had this for 30 years. It will take me 30 years to change. Ask my clients, ask the people in Sovereign how quickly they make change. Some of them have been married for decades right? So it's not a proportionate thing of how long you've been sick to how long you get well. You get well when you change your energetic, right? But we've got to decide to cast off this spell. You know when you're obsessing about narcissists, this is part of the disease. Come out of the spell. Decide to. If you're here, you will have seen it for what it is. Now you've got to stop obsessing about them. Who cares what happens when they go dark? They're dark. 
the spiritually dark come into the light, come into your light, because you came on this planet for way more than suffering. You actually are an absolutely essential part of the whole. No matter how old you are, no matter how sick you are, no matter what you think you've failed at, you count your energy as it's like in the so spiritually like the, your energy is part of the whole whether you know it or not you matter in a unique way although like people say well we are all one no you can on some esoteric level but you came for a human experience to play a very important part of this planet you really matter you matter so much you matter so much to divinity you matter so much to the part you are here to collectively play and the narcissist will do everything to destroy that because it's like the dark trying to um bring out bring down the light but it's not got the power unless we give it the power you're the battery source take it back break the spell make it your intention withdraw from the narcissist Break the ties. I've got the psychic stuff here. Come into Sovereign if you can and learn how to have better relationships. The quality of your life is going to depend on the quality of your decisions, right? You can make the decision today. People are running from what they're already living, right? But I'm scared to be on my own. You're on your own with a narcissist. There's no intimacy and true authentic connection there. You're already on your own. I'm scared to survive on my own. You're already scared to survive right now. You know, you're, you're running from the thing you're living. So why not live something better? Why not live something truer? Why not live something that has the potential to make you happy, right? You get to choose this. The beauty of our free will universe is the minute you decide the tide's going to change, the whole of the universe will conspire to support you in it. But you are going to have to be brave and take those steps. You are going to have to be brave. But the universe has got like so much more for you than this. When you start doing the things I'm teaching you, and your life, and many people here have done it already, that your life is changing, you will understand that you, you will be so, every person will feel this way, the same way, which is, I just wish I did it sooner. That's going to be your only thing. I only wish I did it sooner. It's not going to be, I changed my life and it went wrong. When you're living in this absolute poverty, whether you're rich or not, because some people do have money with narcissists, but still are so financially manipulated and bound and controlled, you're not free. The only point of having a lot of money, and money is a great thing, do not believe for a minute that money is not spiritual. God, uh, you know, Bible talks about the kingdom of heaven on earth. You're not here to live impoverished. You're here to enjoy the physical world. So there are people that have manipulated your mind against that. But if you're not free and you have money, if you're a slave still, just because you have a nicer suit, but you're still a slave, you are not free. So if one of your values, I teach you a lot about values and sovereign, is freedom, you've got to start with freedom now. And freedom is not being controlled by money or for money. So even if you're wealthy, but you're still having to play a part and not be authentic to cooperate with a narcissist, you have no freedom, so what's your money worth? Nothing. Nothing apart from basic survival needs. So there's no difference between being poor and rich at that point because you're just living for survival. We want to live to be free and money is abundance. Money is just like I get to have more and I get to have more, but I'm not without and I start with my own freedom. Set yourself free. Put it in the comments. I set myself free. Lots of love, guys. If you want to join Sovereign, you've got probably till Sunday. Um, I'll speak for this round. I'll speak to you soon.